This video is a complete installation and full testing of NVIDIA's new speech-to-text model Parakeet version 3. We have previously covered NVIDIA's Parakeet V2 and it was quite an exciting and evolving model at that time. And that is why I am quite excited to share this new V3 version with you of Parakeet which seems to have done quite well on lots of benchmarks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe as that helps a lot. I will be talking a bit more about this Parakeet model and its architecture but let's get the things underway. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card in NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs in video's description. As it creates a virtual environment, let's talk a bit more about this Parakeet model. So as I said, it's a multilingual automatic speech recognition or ASR model with just 600 billion parameters. It has been specifically engineered by NVIDIA for high throughput and accurate speech to text transcription across 25 European languages and we will test them uh, one by one. Not all of them, but most of them. Building upon its predecessor, Parakeet version 2, this version significantly expands language coverage beyond English, enabling automatic language detection and transcription without the need for explicit language identification in the input. This has been trained primarily on the large-scale multilingual granary corpus. The model uses diverse real-world speech data to achieve robust performance across languages, including low-resource ones like Maltese and Baltic languages. It supports long-form audio inputs up to 24 minutes with full self-attention, but you would need a 180 GB GPU for that. You can also use it for three hours using local attention mechanism, which makes it quite suitable for applications such as broadcast transcription, podcast processing, and archival digitization. I will tell you more about its architecture, but for now, let's go back to our virtual environment where you can see that our Conda environment is created. Now, next up, let's install few packages. So there are just two Nemo Toolkit ASR and Gradio. Gradio is what I will be putting on top of it so that you, we could run it locally. This is going to take a couple of minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling clause with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and you will find the link in video's description and everything is installed here next up all you need to do is to run um, the script which is a python script from uh, your local system and what i have done i have just gone into its hugging fist page i have taken the code from this page and i have put a graduate interface on top of it that's it and this is a code which i was talking about it's the same code where it is going to put the transcription of the audio with the timestamp. So that is all I am using here. Let me go back and then run this from my local system. And the first time when you run this, it downloads a Parakeet model for you. And the size is just 2.51 gig. While it downloads, let's talk a bit more about the architecture of the model. So as I mentioned earlier, not only this model comes with few of the innovations as compared to the previous model, but also the architecture is based on fast confirmer TDT framework, combining the efficiency of fast confirmer encoder with a time discrete token or TDT decoder. The fast confirmer architecture enhances the standard confirmer by optimizing self-attention and convolution operations for faster inference while maintaining accuracy. And that is particularly beneficial for long audio sequences. The model accepts 16 kilohertz monophonic audio in common formats like FAV, FLAC, and then it processes it through a deep neural network optimized for NVIDIA GPU acceleration via CUDA and associated libraries. 
and it also outputs grammatically refined text with automatic punctuation and capitalization. Additionally, it provides provides precise word level and segment level timestamps, facilitating downstream tasks like subtitling and alignment. The license is not Apache 2, by the way. The license is around CC by 4, and you can check out uh, the commercial use uh, regulations there in the license. Uh, but I think the norm commercial use should be fine, but check the license if you are looking to implement it commercially. So let's go back to the terminal. And the model is loaded. Our Gradio demo is running. Let's access it in the browser at localhost. And there you go. The parakeet is running on our local system, as you can see, at 7860. Let me upload uh, the audios and then we will do the transcription. You can even do with the microphone uh, and you can even create a streaming one with it. This is quite an uh, performant model. So let's select audio from my local system. So first I have just selected this JFK speech. Let me play this. And so my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Okay. So let me now transcribe it. And the transcription is running. It was very quick. There you go. So it has done the start time and time and the segment. As the model is fully loaded onto the GPU, let's check the VRAM. So it is consuming just over 2 gig of VRAM. I will also check it while it does the transcription. So you see the English one is quite good. Let's check out a Spanish one. So I'm just going to select one in my own voice. Let's play this. Mucha gracias por tu ayuda. Mi gusta este lugar mucho. I know that my Spanish is not that good, but well, let's check it out. Let's check the VRAM consumption. So it is just close to 3 gig and it doesn't go over it, so we should be good. Let's go down and there you go. Very nice. So Spanish is also quite good. And let's check what other language do I have here. I think I also have some uh, Chinese one, but it doesn't do the Chinese, but you know what? Let's try it out. Let's play it. Yuanzu so you see, it cannot do Chinese or anything. So let's stick with the European languages. Let's try a few more. And I'm going to try out the French one. And by the way, if you are that native language speaker, please help me out. Put it in the comments. What do you think about the transcription? Le bonheur est un sentiment fugace qui peut être trouvé dans les moments les plus simples de la vie. Une conversation chaleureuse avec un être cher, un magnifique coucher de soleil, ou une bonne tasse de café peuvent instantanément améliorer notre humeur. C'est un état d'esprit qui peut être cultivé par la gratitude, la pleine conscience et les soins personnels. En nous concentrant sur le présent et en abandonnant nos inquiétudes, nous pouvons déverrouiller une vie plus joyeuse et épanouissante. What do you think? You know, by visually looking at it, looks good to me. Okay, let's try out one more. Now I am going to try out the German. Glück ist ein flüchtiges Gefühl, das in den einfachsten Momenten des Lebens zu finden ist. Ein warmes Gespräch mit einem geliebten Menschen, ein wunderschöner Sonnenuntergang oder eine gute Tasse Kaffee können unsere Stimmung sofort heben. Es ist ein Geisteszustand, der durch Dankbarkeit, Achtsamkeit und Selbstfürsorge kultiviert werden kann. Indem wir uns auf die Gegenwart konzentrieren und Sorgen loslassen, können wir ein freudigeres und erfüllteres Leben erschließen. So looks pretty good to me. And please also confirm if you think that it has put the punctuation at the right points. Okay, let's check out the Russian. Счастье – это мимолетное чувство, которое можно найти в самых простых моментах жизни. Теплый разговор с любимым человеком, красивый закат или хорошая чашка кофе могут мгновенно поднять наше настроение. Это состояние ума, которое можно развивать через благодарность, осознанность и заботу о себе. 
Сосредоточиваясь на настоящем и отпуская беспокойство, мы можем открыть более радостную и полноценную жизнь. Cool, so looks pretty good to me. And now let's try out a Portuguese one. Curta este vídeo se você está se divertindo e inscreva-se, porque sejamos sinceros, esta é a melhor decisão que você tomará hoje. Not bad, what do you think? Okay, let's try out one more. I'll be just doing some rapid fire now. Maybe I will go with Bulgarian. So my friends in Sofia and Gabrovo should tell me how it looks like. Харесайте това видео, ако се забавлявате и се абонирайте, защото нека бъдем честни. Това е най-доброто решение, което ще вземете днес. Pretty good. Let's try out one more. Maybe I'll go with Croatia. Лайкайте ова видео, ако уживате и предплатите се, ќер будимо искрени. Ова е најбоља одлука коју ќе те донети данас. I have I don't know if that's correct or not you have to tell me please and then maybe we'll go with the Czech Republic and let's check it out Dejte tomuto videu like pokud se bavíte a přihlaste se k odběru protože buďme upřímní tohle je nejlepší rozhodnutí které dnes uděláte Okay there are a few words which look similar to the Croatian one but I don't know maybe let's go with Danish So all the Danes should let me know how it goes. Like Dane video, wis du hygarda or abonnier, for let us wear early, de at an beste beslutning du tar i day. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, that is done. And let's Danish is done, maybe Dutch. Like deze video als je geniet en abonneer, want laten we eerlijk zijn, dit is de beste beslissing die je vandaag zult nemen. Nice. Okay, let's try out the next one. We didn't check the English, so okay, let's do the English one. Or, or sorry, we did with the JFK. Anyway, let's do it. Happiness is a fleeting feeling that can be found in life's simplest moments. A warm conversation with a loved one, a beautiful sunset, or a good cup of coffee can instantly lift our mood. It's a state of mind that can be cultivated through gratitude, mind... So, so we can tell that the punctuation was pretty good in this one. Okay, you know what? Let's quickly check the Arabic one too. It's not in its data set, but well. In the desert, we found a beautiful one with the trees, the trees, and the trees. It can be found in the desert under the trees of the trees. It has written it quite well, but it's not an Arabic script, of course. Um, but I think if you just listen to it and match it, it's not that bad anyway. So where were we? So I think we, let's try out Greek. Kane likes after the video an per naskala. Ke kane engrafi, yati asimaste ilikrinis, afti ne ikaliteri apofasi putha pari simera. Okay, nice. I don't know, but please confirm. Looks good to me. And I think I have done all of it. Let's let's check Romanian. The like of this video clip, if you are distressed, she abonnează te, pentru că să fim sinceri, aceasta este cea mai bună decizie pe care o vei lua azi. Okay, and just because I have the Hindi scripts, also check the Hindi. बाजार में गरम गरम समोसे और चाय की खुशबू से भरा माहौल था जहां रंग बिरंगी साड़ियों में औरतें सब्जियां खरीद रही थी शाम के वक्त चाय की प्याली लेकर छत पर बैठे और दौड़ से आने वाली कवाली की आवाज सुनते रहे Anyway, but I think for the European languages, I believe it has done wonderfully well. But I would uh, be guided by you. So please let me know in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.